Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can build your own 3D printed Mark IV tank with Wi-Fi control. So let's start it. You also need for the electronics uh, and PCB. So you can use a breadboard or a soldering PCB like this one. That was my first attempt. Um, my second attempt and the first version with an Arduino Nano. So you can also um, program the Arduino Nano and let the thing run analog and not in a, with a server. So you can program in that the thing should drive a rectangle or a circle or something like that. But I also created a Gerber file, a PCB file you can get in the internet in my Instructables that um, allows you to directly solder everything on without thinking about where everything should go. Here it pre was pretty easy for me to use these connector pins. They make my life way easier. Um, the cables hold tight and some, all, everything is correct, no problem. can order a box like this and they're pretty cheap, I think. 20, 10 euros or something like that. What do you need to build the tank? You need a gearbox. You can get from Amazon for around 15 euros or I think 20, 20 dollars or so. Then you need all the 3D printed parts like the chassis and the sidewall. You need um, the chain links the thousands of chain links i think around 150 50, 165 and you need the the wheels the chains are driving on uh, you need some nails um, you need a battery pack you need an wemos d1 mini and an l2993 d that's the controller for the motor, so we can switch uh, the directions of the motor. So you have to remove the brim. So I will remove the support and the brim. We finished cleaning the 3D prints. So here, the main part you can spot a difference between the parts. One half a hole and one half a pin. So you have two matching parts like that. The part with the hole is every time here. So the hole part is the inside wall. Take the nails, push them through. So we have now the finished parts with the nails in. That's the outside part. That's a little bit more um, now. You can take the wheels with the small diameter, put them at the desired place. So, the same thing we do for the other. If the gears don't um, rotate freely, you should um, use a drill to re-drill the holes so that the wheels can turn like this one here. For this I should look uh, or this and that, that they turn properly. Put the other side on. That can be a little bit tough. Have to align every little hole to the nails. We use a trimmer to cut the little nails, nail ends off. So now we finished the one side. So we have the main gears in the back. Take the side walls like this. Let the top gears look right up. Hold the gear in that place and 
push it through. So we have the first gear inserted and you have to eyeball the box, the gear, push it through and we have the second gear also fixed. So we now um, take the little chain links. Uh, you have to print these chain links with support and um, the best thing is to print it with a raft. So you put the chain links on a small raft so you have a general print size. So maybe 25 on one raft pl plate and then you can take the complete raft off and peel the small chain links off the off of the raft so you need around 120 of them so this is the tedious work you you do on this project um, but after that it's pretty much easy so um, we have here the little chain links and um, that's what you do. What you're doing now with this, with these things, you take um, some garden wire, pretty thin, and um, you have these holes here at the end. You have to test if everything fits. Go through. Then you can take the chain link go through one hole, through the other, go out on the other side, take a trimmer, cut through. Now you have um, the wire on each side and yet now you bend it. You can cut it on the side a little bit more, but the next step is to, to bend it so that you have a closed connection and the wire can't come out. So, and now we are doing this for all the chain links. So take some rubber and put it around the chassis that you don't have to hold it all the time. So I can start to glue the torso. So now we are connecting the chains to the tank. You take the track, put it in and try to find the minimum number of chain links. So we want to, um, to connect the two tracks on the wheel. So the tank is finished with all the mechanical parts and the 3D printing. So we can go on to the electronics. Um, you should use a power bank like this with a lot of batteries because I uh, once used only one battery and the motors draw so much power that the plastic of the battery box melted. You can either use the, the Wemos version or the Arduino version. But I also published a um, PCB, a PCB for the Waymos C1 Mini for the Wi-Fi module because the Wi-Fi module is a little bit easier to use. You can all, you, you turn the thing on and it hosts a website where you can put in which direction the tank sh should go. Um, 
I will blend in the schematic if you want to sold it yourself, like I did. Um, I also upload the files for this PCB so you can order it. Um, the best to go with the PCB because um, you can't reach all the ports without intersecting, intersecting each other so you must use the wires like this. We're finished with the build. Um, the only thing you can add in later are um, uh, window sealers to increase the thinness so it don't slide around. Um, I did it with my um, my first version of this tank but I think I will keep it clean on that one.